Kim too. Now it's time for the mass to mass relationship lab. First thing we need to look at is what we need. We need wire gauze, a plate triangle, crucible tongs, scoopula, Bunsen burner, evaporating dish, watch glass, iron ring, ring stand, sodium bicarbonate, six molar hydrochloric acid, matches, a small beaker for the matches, and then a balance. Now time for the setup. We're going to take a Bunsen burner. We're going to place it on the ring stand. We're going to then take an iron ring and put it on to the ring stand, attaching the iron ring approximately two to three inches above the Bunsen burner flame. Then we're going to take a clay triangle, put it onto the ring stand, and then the evaporating dish on top of that. We do need a watch glass, but we're not going to heat that up initially, but it's going to sit on top like that when we use it. Let's set it aside. Now we need to dry the evaporating dish, just like we did in the hydrate lab. So we're going to light the budget burner like the match first, then turn on the gas, run it up the side, and then just like the hydrate lab, we're going to gently run the Bunsen burner flame underneath of the evaporating dish to drive off any water that might be still in there. After about two minutes of heating that, we're ready to go ahead and turn off the Bunsen burner. And then we're going to remove the evaporating dish with the crucible tongs. Now we go to mass it. Don't forget to zero your balance. And then with the crucible tongs, grab the evaporating dish. You can go ahead and put the watch glass underneath the evaporating dish for the initial weighing. And then you're going to add the sodium bicarb. You need to add about 2.5 grams. You don't have to be exact. Get somewhere near 2.5 grams. That looks good. Now we're going to add the hydrochloric acid to our evaporating dish. You're going to take a small dropper pipette and draw up the hydrochloric acid. And then you're going to squirt it through the small hole where this spout is. And you're going to go ahead and add it. It's going to take about three to five squirts, full squirts of the dropper pipette in order to fill and react completely with the sodium bicarbonate. Add a little bit, swirl it around, just to make sure it comes in contact with all of the sodium bicarbonate in there. You can see the smoke coming out. It's gonna fizz really, really bad inside there, creating a whole lot of carbon dioxide gas. And it's gonna get warm also. It is an exothermic reaction. Just be careful. Last thing to be careful about is some of the gas that's going to be coming out of this hydrochloric acid fume, so it is going to be a little, little um, pungent. Keep adding until all this reacts. No more fizz. See all that moisture? That's all the water, all the steam that hit the top of that. I'm going to add the last little bit, and when I add the last little bit, it doesn't fizz anymore, so I know that. Time to move on to the next step. What we have in there right now is hydrochloric acid, water, and, and salt. We want to drive off the water and what little bit of hydrochloric acid excess you have. So take the bunch of burner and hold it gently underneath. 
this takes a long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the film here. This takes quite a bit of time to make sure that you gently drive off the water. You don't wanna have too much water coming out. You don't wanna have it coming out too fast, but you do wanna boil off the water. It does take probably about five minutes, almost 10. It should look like this. See how it's like steaming and boiling and bubbling inside? That's what it should look like. You're going to continue to do this until you can see no more water. See all that steam, all that condensation? When there's no more water underneath, then you're going to go ahead and put the Bunsen burner directly underneath of it and drive off the last little bit of the water. This is going to take a while. This part takes quite a bit of time. You want to go until you see absolutely no more water. No more drops on the top on the um, watch glass. Then, once you're done, turn it off. It's going to look really, really crusty. The top of the watch glass is going to have a lot of salt, dried up salt on it. Then you're ready to see how much you have in the evaporating dish. So, go ahead and make sure you zero the balance. And then put your evaporating dish with the watch glass on top of the balance and then get a mess. All that's left is cleaning up. For the evaporating dish, it's just salt, so you can just run it underneath the tap water. And the same thing for the watch glass. It's got a little bit of salt crud on it. Go ahead and run it underneath the, underneath the water also. You do that, you're all done. Clean up everything else, make sure everything's cooled down. That's the lab.